Hello guys, another problem that sometimes leads to confusion. Hopefully you're gonna learn how to do it and not memorize it because memorize it is not the best thing to do. I'm not against memorization, but I'm pro you understanding the concepts because that allows you to solve any problem that you want to solve. So in this case, we don't have these distances A and B. So basically what the problem is asking you is find the length of the triangular load and its position A. A and B, or B and A. And then we have some constraints. The equivalent resultant force is zero, and the resultant moment is eight. So that's exactly what we are going to do. If we know the equivalent resultant force is zero, and we know the resultant force comes just from these two forces here, we can calculate those forces. What is the value of this force? Just the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is 4B divided by 2. 4 times B divided by 2. And it's a negative force. So basically what we are going to say here is that that force, which is 4 times B divided by 2, I'm going to put it here. And it's negative because it's pointing downwards. So 4B divided by 2. And the resultant of this other force is just going to be 2.5 times 9, 2.5 height times base, divided by 2. And we put that here, and that is a positive force, so plus 2.5 times 9, divided by 2. And this is 0, because that's what the problem is telling us. So look at, looky, looky, here is B. The only thing that we have to do is solve for B. So when you solve for B, remember these two are going to cancel out, and it's going to be 2.5 times 9 divided by 4, and the result will be 5.625 meters. Bam. Done. That question, the length of the triangular load, done. Now, for finding the location, this distance A, we have another constraint, and it says the resultant moment is 8, clockwise. Clockwise, depending on what you are doing, you can assume positive or negative. Let's say, just for fun, that we are going to say that clockwise is negative. And if I know the resultant moment is going to be a 8, so it will be negative 8 in this case because it's clockwise. The resultant moment, if I take it with respect to the point A, which I can take also with respect to this point if I want to, but if I take it with respect to the point A, basically it's going to be what? It's going to be this force. I, I didn't calculate the value of the force here, but I'm going to just put it in the same way that it is. Uh, that I put it before, 2.5 times... 9 divided by 2. Remember, this is that force multiplied by this distance. What is the distance of the equivalent concentrated force here? Because we are measuring from the acute angle, which is this, it's going to be 2 thirds of the base, and the base is 9. So we put here times 2 thirds of 9. That's the distance, that's the force, this force. What is the direction? If I put my finger here and apply that force over there, the rotation will be clockwise, and we say clockwise is negative, so I'm going to put a negative here. Now we have to add the other force. The other force is this one, 4B divided by 2. And what I need is the location from the point that I'm taking the moment, which is the point A. And what is that distance? Well, I know this is A. And I know this part, because this is the acute angle, once again, is going to be two-thirds of the base. So this distance from here to here is going to be two-thirds of B. And the total distance from here to here will be A plus two-thirds of B. 
be. This is the force, once again. That force multiplied by the distance. This distance here. This distance. A plus two thirds of B. What is the direction? If you put your finger here and you apply, the rotation is going to be in this way, and that way is counterclockwise, which per our convention, that is going to be positive. The only thing we have to do now is plug this B into there and solve for A. You have negative A equal all of this, and then you can calculate your value A, which is 1.54 meters. There you go. Another problem that looks complicated and is extremely, extremely, extremely simple. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for learning. Have a good day.